What is the crack everybody my name is Jagged Potato and with this video I'm making a wee bit of an announcement for my channel which really could affect the number of subscribers I already have on my channel. I've only like 15 but this possibly could reduce that by maybe one or two. I'll get into the announcement halfway through the video but the video I'm playing is Call of Duty and this game has literally become the bane of my life. Call of Duty is one of the most frustrating games that I've ever played in my life, ever. And I've played a lot of games. I've played a lot of very annoying games, and I've played a lot of very hard games. But Call of Duty, I literally just cannot enjoy this game anymore. The gameplay you're watching is Kill Confirmed on Nuketown. They've recently released Nuketown into all playlists. And I don't know what they've done to it. I think they have honestly broken it somehow. The spawn system in this game that I'm playing that you're watching now is completely messed up. There were times where I was spawning into one side of the map and the minute I spawned in, the team spawned in behind me and shot me. And of course this game's also hardcore so then I couldn't even get turned around or get to cover quick enough to even stand a chance of maybe turning on them and shooting them in the face. And I honestly do not know how they have messed this up. In Black Ops 1, Nuketown was one of the best maps in the game. One of the most overplayed maps, yes, but one of the most favorited and one of the best. So how have they screwed it up? How have they screwed it up not even two years later when all they had to do was just change the look of it? They shouldn't have to have changed the spawn points and or added anything new to it because it was fine. It was working. It was usable but now in this game and in many other games that I've been playing with Black Ops the spawn points are just completely messed up and I do not know how they have broken this in just two years. The saddest thing about this is is that as of lately I've really started to enjoy Black Ops 2. When I first got the game I played a couple of games the first night I loved it, I thought it was the game that's going to bring me back into competitive gaming, going to make me start loving the Call of Duty series again, because after Modern Warfare 3, I hated the stupid game, because it was so stale and stagnant. And then when I started playing Black Ops 2, I thought, yes, this is it, this is what's finally going to bring me back in. But then it's like the game realises that I'm enjoying it, and it says, no! and slaps me across the face. You're not allowed to enjoy this. You have to suffer like everyone else. And then it just does something completely stupid, like screw up the spawn points. Just makes me hate it again. I know a couple of videos ago I said I am not going to put any more Call of Duty Black Ops videos on my channel. But then the game started to be better again. It started to make me enjoy it. I started getting a lot of good games. I started to get a lot of good videos. And I just fell in love with it again. I started to enjoy it. I started to want to play it more. And then it just does something like this. Which slaps me in the face. And I then just come to my senses again. And realise how bad of a game it actually is. It's really sad to say this. But it is not a great game. If Call of Duty done what Battlefield uh, has done and put its multiplayer on one disc and its single player on the other. And say if that single player disc also includes zombies, I would buy that single player disc. I would not buy the multiplayer. Since we're around about halfway through the video now, I'm going to make the announcement for my channel. And even though I've already said this before, Thursday will be the last day that I put up standalone Call of Duty videos. Literally. I have no intention of playing this game unless I'm playing it with my friends, in fun with friends, or if I'm playing zombies. I really love playing zombies, so I feel that I should get a couple more videos of that up. I haven't even any videos on it to say that I need to put a couple more up. So yeah, unless I'm playing fun with friends, or I've decided to take on one of Judgment Awaits community cha uh, challenges, I will not be uploading any more Call of Duty videos. And I realise how much of an effect this can actually have on my channel. My channel is supposed to be one that focuses on the commentary. But sadly, if you have good commentary and bad gameplay, then that'll affect your channel. If you have bad commentary and good gameplay, that'll also affect your channel. You need to have a mixture of the both. And if I start to play Call of Duty standalone by myself and not having a good time, the gameplay is going to suffer. The commentary won't suffer because I can do the commentary separate of the gameplay and I just kind of take how long the gameplay takes and then just kind of aim to have my commentary finished around by that point. 
But even with only 15 subscribers, I've noticed that my channel can be seriously affected when I try to branch out away from Call of Duty. Because no matter what way you look at it, YouTube is the Call of Duty community. Trying to start off in YouTube and not having Call of Duty videos can seriously affect the number of views you get straight off the bat. Because with Call of Duty, your videos will be found at some point because that many people watch Call of Duty videos. So even with 15 subscribers, I really see my channel taking a bit of a dive after this. I hope it wouldn't. I hope people would come to my channel because they enjoy the commentary and they enjoy listening to me yammer on for about 7 minutes every video. But I can really see my channel taking a bit of a hit. So what does that mean for me? That means that I have a pile of games over there. I have so many other multiplayer games, I have so many other games that I could play. Actually leaving Call of Duty would probably be one of the best things that I could ever do. Because Call of Duty actually takes up so much of my time. When I put in Call of Duty I initially mean to just to play it for a couple of games and then head off. But it actually ends up taking up most of the day. So now if I don't play Call of Duty it means that I can go play other games. I can finally complete Bioshock Infinite. I want to do a walkthrough of that game because it's actually amazing. But I don't want to do a walkthrough of it until I've completed it, because then once I've completed it, I'll actually be able to talk through everything because I've seen it all. And I'll not want to be watching the cutscenes, because I'll understand everything, even though Bioshock apparently has one of the most complicated endings ever. I have also Gears of War Judgment over there. I love the Gears of War series. I love playing Gears of War. I love the online in that game, and I also love the story and the universe that it's set in. I also have the new Tomb Raider game. Surprisingly, the online for that there is really fun. It's very reminiscent of Uncharted, but it's actually done a lot better and it's made more interesting with traps and exploding environments, and it's actually just really, really fun. And finally, to be honest, there's another game that I really enjoy, and it's already got a very heavy community on YouTube, and that's also Minecraft. I thoroughly enjoy that game. I could just sit in that game for hours, but that's also another problem with Minecraft. You can just go into Minecraft and lose yourself in it. But yeah, guys, that's the crack with my channel at the minute. I hope that this announcement doesn't make my channel drop too much. I already have few, very few subscribers, but I would hope that my subscribers are subscribed to me because they enjoy my stuff and they enjoy listening to me. So if you like this video and you're excited for me to branch out away from Call of Duty, click that like button. See that button right down there? It's down. Not above, down. Click that there. It takes like two seconds. Just go and click. Great job. And if you like me, if you like my channel, if you like my commentaries and you want to hear more and you're excited about the fact my channel's trying to branch out, click that subscribe button. Just right up there. Not below. That's the like button. You don't want to click that. You want to click the subscribe button. It's above. Click that, and guys, as always, thank you so much for listening to this video. My name is Jacob Potato, I am a Christian, and I will see you all on Thursday for my last standalone Call of Duty video, which I have planned a very heartwarming commentary for. If you're a Christian, you'll really want to listen to it, because you'll love it. Anyway guys, see you all on Thursday.